Hello, this is Michael Locke with ML Web Consulting. Thank you for watching this video. I'm going to walk you through blogging. Everything you need to know about blogging and um, go over some of the tools that you can use to actually get a blog up in minutes and uh, just pretty much give you an overview of what blogging is. Today as I record this video, Thursday morning, January 14th, um, 2010, a few days ago, I saw on the Today Show that the number five resolution for 2010 for people was creating a website or blog. And uh, this just goes to show you that times that we live in are changing. Everyone knows that the, the benefits of a blog, they know that with blogging, you can pretty much publish yourself, brand yourself, um, publish any type of content you want. Um, if you have a passion for golf, you can create a blog about golfing. If you want to discuss your political views, you can you know, create a political blog. You want to... Um, you know, create a blog for your business to just talk about your products and your services, you can create a blog for that. So the possibilities are endless. So let's just go over um, some of the beginning beginning sort of steps you need to, to do or you, you want to take before, you know, when, get it started, when getting started in blogging. Um, so, well, before we do that, let me just show you quickly what a blog looks like. This is my blog. This is a gen the general setup for a blog. You normally have posts or entries, which are normally on the left-hand side, and they're in reverse chronological order. So this is the latest blog post that I had um, recently. And, um, you know, as you scroll down, it's, you know, it goes back in time. So... January 13th, I posted this blog. January 11th, I posted this blog um, blog post. January 9th, I posted that one. And um, normally, on the right-hand side of a blog, you would have your entries or the post. And, you know, you might have something about the author. You might have the capabilities of, you know, for subscribing to that blog. And um, you might see advertisements on the right-hand side in some blogs. If your blog is very popular and you get tons and tons of traffic you can start advertising on on your blog on the right hand side and and start monetizing your blog which is making money on we you know through your blog so basically that's the the simple structure of a blog and um, let's start over here let's go back over here to some of the tools that you'll need to know that you can use to get started with blogging there are three main blogging tools that I recommend number one wordpress.com if you're just getting started, WordPress.com, Blogger.com, or TypePad.com. Now, there's more out there, but these are the main three. About 90% of everyone blogging today are using either of these three blogs, blogging um, platforms or tools. And what you can do, you go over to WordPress.com, you pretty much click this button here, sign up now. Just go through these simple steps, create a name for your blog. Um, well, at some point, you'll, you'll create a name for your blog, and you will be given the, the, the title, or your domain name would be, um, like, Mike's Car, Mike's Car Blog dot WordPress dot com, and um, you would be able to start blogging and start creating entries. Um, then you can go to WordPress dot com and download free templates, and you can easily install different templates to change the background look and feel of your blog. Okay, but there are some limitations there, so that's just um, through WordPress.com. Blogger is the same thing. You can go over to Blogger.com. Just create this button here, or click on this button here, create a blog, and it literally takes a, maybe two minutes to create your blog. And once you start blogging, or once you create your blog, it'll look something like this. Um, here's the buzz, the Blogger bu bu um, buzz, buzz blog. But um, you've probably seen blogs like this where you see this black bar at the top with the little B there. This is Blogger's um, way of, um, of uh, laying out their blogs and uh, maintaining their blog platform. But basically, here's someone's blog, and um, they have posts on the left-hand side and, and their, their links and posts on, on the right. So basically... It's as simple as that. So 
um, go over to blogger.com and, and just create one, get started, create a test site, and just kind of play around with it. TypePad is the same thing. Um, allows you to create beautiful looking blogs and um, just click, click on this uh, yellow button here and um, to get started you know go ahead like I said go ahead and create a free test it's free create a name that you don't you know that you don't care about and um, you can delete it later and just get started just just kind of figure out what it looks like but um, that's pretty much it there the the other thing that you probably wanna think about is this if you have a website now let's go back here's my website I have a static website I have four four pages here about about me, my services, my portfolio, and my pricing. And the fifth one is a blog, blog link. Now, if you already have a static website that does not have a blog, you can do a couple things. You can go to WordPress, blogger.com, or typepad.com, create your own blog there, and then have your webmaster create a, a tab link that links off to your blog that you just created so it would essentially go to the new URL that you would create there now if you don't want that approach you want a blog that's integrated and you might hear that word a lot you know you can have a blog that integrates to your website it's sort of like what I have here what I did myself so I have my static pages you can go through my static pages and as you go through the tabs and you click on blog here, I'm using the WordPress um, platform as my blog tool, but it's integrated with my website. And that's sometimes that's like the best way to go because um, it sort of brands your blog together with your business website or your already existing static website. And and that's an option as well if you choose that option you're going to need to do um, it's a little bit more technical advanced it might take a webmaster or someone to actually do this for you but wordpress.org is the place where you want to go and then what wordpress.org allows you to do is download their wordpress system or their wordpress uh, yeah, content management system and then install it on your server and um, be up and running in minutes as well now in another video I'm going to show you how to do that within a matter of five minutes how you can actually take a blog download a blog from wordpress.org and install it on your already existing hosted server and um, talk about how you're going to go about doing that but that's in a later post basically I just wanted to just kinda give you an overview of what blogging is and show you some of the tools that you can use today to actually get started uh, wordpress.com blogger.com and uh, typepad.com alright so that's that's what you need to get started go ahead and check out those tools if you have any questions shoot me an email um, at mlock at mlwebco.com or visit my website mlwebconsulting or mlwebco.com and um, look around browse around connect with me um, and um, ask me any questions and I'll be happy to answer any questions you have alright look out for other videos to come and um, we'll be talking soon take care hope this video was helpful please comment rate and subscribe to my YouTube channel and look out for more videos later on alright we'll talk soon bye bye